While Dr. Campbell was publishing his China study, Dr. Esselstyn was getting some powerful data from the research he'd started in 1985. He began with 24 patients, but six had dropped out in the first year, leaving him with a total of 18. At the end of five years, we had uh, follow-up angiograms and 11 of the group had halted their disease. There was no progression. And there were four where we had rather exciting evidence of regression of disease. These results were astonishing. The diet produced something that medication and surgery never had before, actual reversals of heart disease. The biological mechanism that caused these reversals centers on the lining of our veins and arteries, the endothelial cells. They are the absolute life jackets of our blood vessels. You're young and you're a teenager, you're healthy. You could spread those out one layer thick and you'd have something that would cover six or eight tennis courts. In 1988, scientists discovered that endothelial cells manufactured the gas nitric oxide. Well, what does nitric oxide do? Nitric oxide keeps our blood flowing smoothly without being sticky. It also helps to dilate constricted blood vessels during physical activity and inhibits the formation of plaque. And most importantly, nitric oxide is a powerful force for eliminating the inflammation that seems to go with this plaque. However, scientific tests have demonstrated that when we start eating the typical Western diet, our endothelial cells are damaged. When you're getting to be in your 40s and 50s and 60s and you've been slaughtering your endothelial cells, you don't have those six or eight tennis courts. You may be down to one and a half or two, and they can't protect you. Yet according to Dr. Esselstyn, when we begin eating a whole foods, plant-based diet, the damage to our endothelial cells not only stops, it starts to reverse. <laughs> 